Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the Mango Power E. This is a portable power station, a three kilowatt power station, 3000 watts. They can be paired together, giving you 6000 watts. And then each power station has a backup battery that can go on top of that. You get another power station, you can get 240 volts, split phase. And with each one of them having an extra battery, go all the way up to 14 kilowatt hour. So this is a lithium ion battery power station. Guys, I'm going to get it out of the box and show you what we're dealing with. We also have the 200 watt mango power solar panel. So I'm going to show you how it charges with solar panel by using this power, this solar panel right here. 200 watts. I'll get it out of the box. Comes in a nice traveling case. So if you're walking around with this or you're traveling with this, you can have it in a nice traveling case to keep it safe. All right, let's get it out of the box. Okay, guys, there you have it. Mango Power E, portable power station. I'm gonna show you a quick spin around. Got this nice handles on the side. Really like that for picking it up. You see there's one on this side, you got one on the other side. This thing's weigh 100 pounds, so it's heavy. Okay, got your control panel, touch screen, little vent right here. It's powered by uh, CATL. They just uh, manufacture of uh, lithium ion batteries. Nothing in the back, but then you have this awesome handle to move it around. And the two wheels, so you can roll it around real easy. That makes that 100 pounds disappear. Another vent on this side. So this is the side where you connect everything. So remember I told you guys about that extra battery? Plug it in right here. This would be the E-Link. So you can link two of these up together to get your 240 volt split phase grid charge and solar power charge. It comes with two cables, guys. This is your solar cable. See this right here? This will plug in this little white dot on top. Just line it up, plug it in, tighten that in. That's for solar. There's your uh, AC charger. Just a regular plug on this one. 15 amp plug, 120 volts. Just plug this right here. And when you buy a second one, you'll get the link cable. I don't have the extra battery yet. Hopefully they send me the uh, extra battery and, or just another unit so I can uh, demo demonstrate the 240 volts. Once we get that, I can hook it up to the house. But since we're only gonna be using the 30 amp plug, I'm gonna show you on the RV. Make sure it can power like the AC and some other loads, the refrigerator, and see what we can get from it. Let's go over this real quick. One thing I love, that 30 amp RV plug. If you have an RV trailer, anything, you can actually use this on the 50 amp, use an adapter, and then just plug it into the 50 amp RV. Power button, 420 volt, 20 amps. You got your cigarette lighter style. Oh, I just turned on the DC, just touch screen. 65 watt USB-C, 100 watt USB-C, two barrel ports, one six quick charge 3.0, 27 watt USB. Everything here is touch screen. That's how you turn on your AC. DC, you hear it beep, it beeps when you turn on the DC. You can go to your menu right here. That controls your uh, extra battery. Turn these two off. When it comes to the solar input, you can get up to 2,000 watts of solar, 3,000 watt AC input for charging. Guys, let's plug this onto my RV and see if we can run some heavy loads on it. Okay, guys, look how perfect this thing fits inside of my compartment. All right, I have my little compartment right here. I have a plug, 30 amp plug. I just plug it right here. Plugs my RV in. Let's go turn on the RV, see what we can pull. Let me just open this right now. Okay, guys, absolutely love this case. Flip that open. <laughs> this is awesome. I just had to get it open. It's kind of hard to record and open it at the same time. I want to show you this awesome 
feet at the back. It comes with this little feet so you could have them standing. Pretty cool. Even have this little elastic band to keep it from uh, collapsing. Comes with three of them. There you go. Check this out. 200 watts. Get the wire. Okay, so got my 200 watt solar panel right here. Have it plugged in to the side in the input solar. Let's go ahead and turn some loads on and see what happens. Come right here, turn your AC on. All right, you heard the click. The RV came on. Pulling right about 101 watts, 11 watts. Let's go turn the AC on. Turn all the lights on because you have power. We come in here. We can turn on our refrigerator. And turn that AC on. Let's go to the box and see what we're pulling. Guys, before I go outside, I just want to show you this thing is putting out a pure sine wave. No doubt. Clean, pure sine wave. Let's go see how many amps we're pulling. All right, so this one shows you the solar input, the grid input, and your watts is right there. It also shows that pure sine wave sign right there. Pulling 1,200. Remember, we have 3,000. If we had two of these, I could get 6,000 off of this. Fan just came on. Real quiet. Right here, really small. You can see it will run that for 2 hours, 16 minutes. And remember, the AC is going to go on and off. So it will last longer than 2 hours and 16 minutes. It's just rating it off of the running watts. Perfect for pulling over, eating, resting. Works just fine for that. Let's see what else we can do. Okay, I have some water in the microwave. I'm going to turn it on for one minute. Microwave is pulling 1,804. Remember, the refrigerator is also on. You guys should be mindful of your loads. If you're going to run something like that, just turn off one, turn it back on later. One thousand eight hundred. Absolutely no problem for this. Hopefully I get the second one and I can do a 240 volt test and hook it up to the house. And we can see just like the EcoFlow if it will run the 5 ton AC at 240. Okay, almost one minute almost up. There you go. Goes back to just the refrigerator, and I guess timed out. There you go. All right. Let's see if it will run two 13,500 BTU AC. Okay, so I have the refrigerator on, and I'm going to turn one and two on. Let's go outside and check it out. There you go. One just came on. Front side just came on. Waiting on the rear. Okay, guys, the second AC finally came on, and we're pulling right at 2,650 watts. It's still at 94%. Said so you can run both of them for right at one hour. But remember, you should get the temp before that time's up. And I like how the fans have stages. They, do, they don't just go on and off. It has, it's on its fourth different um, level right now. Okay, guys, so we're at 85%. I turned one AC off because realistically, you should be running one AC with something like this. Okay, so we're pulling right about 1,400. 
it says we have a uh, one hour and 47 minutes we have one ac and a refrigerator which is how most people are going to run this thing okay guys we're at 80 percent 79 percent now still shows an hour and 42 minutes and we're pulling 1427 watts and another thing i want to show you guys about this is it does have an app okay that's it right here click this you install the serial number and then you'll be able to control and see everything so you have a solar yield battery i mean it has all the information you need okay there you go absolutely perfect pure sine wave even with the refrigerator and the rv running you can see this sine wave no distortion at all zero for the mango power e wow okay guys check this out we're at 50 percent and it says it has an hour and six minutes left but this thing is solid fan is still quiet as hell and 50 percent with an hour and six minutes left 45 percent one hour left guys still pulling 1356 watts I'm just going to stop right there. The sun's going down. It's just going to keep going. Um, it's right on track. So that means the timer is exactly where it needs. Okay, guys, thanks for watching this video of Mango Power E. This is a portable power station, uh, about about 100 pounds. So it's heavy and it's not something you want to just move around all the time. So um, there it is right there. Real beautiful unit. I really like it. I can't wait to test the 240 volt function on this. So, guys, if you like this video, as usual, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and look for more videos on this unit right here. Mango Power E. Thank you. Bye.